Hello folks and we are back here at the race hall, me and my dad are here, first race meeting of 2024, um, I can't wait, we've missed the first heat but we've got second and the final to go, so let's get into it. we go the first race of 2024 the track is absolutely soaking but we'll see how it goes and there was absolutely no traction there just pure wheel spin Managing to catch up to the lower graded cars ahead, but there's still no traction, so I'm going to have to be careful. As I make the move into first place from the car in front, I get clipped off them coming off the wall and I get put straight in the wall. I managed to get the car started again and back up to speed. Luckily, there was no damage to the main components anyway. managed to get down the inside of the 688 car on the track shop bend. track just is that slippy that you're coming out the corners and wheel spinning right down the street as soon as you throttle it. I managed to get the move done down the outside of the 363 car. Unfortunately, the back marker ahead goes straight into the wall.
coming past the chequered flag for the first time in 2024, I managed to get a second, which isn't too bad for getting smashed into the wall. So that's us back in for the second heat and we've came back with a bit of damage on the front end. Look at the front legs. Wow, they're a bit squint. I was coming around the track shop bend, run down the inside into first and then I just got clipped off with one of the other boys but it's alright, that happens eh? especially in this weather, there's literally ice on the track so aye. But it's all good fun, we'll get out for the final and see how it goes. Now it's time for the meeting final. Let's see if I can do any better than this one. I literally didn't even give the car any throttle there for the start and it still was spinning like crazy. catch up to the car ahead and I managed to slip down the inside of them on this corner. I've got a lot of pressure from the higher graders behind me. They're trying to get down the inside, but I'm trying to hold my line as best as possible with a slippy track. And the 240 car manages to slip down the inside line, coming into the pit bend. That weird noise that just came off the car was something hitting me right in the visor on my helmet. I don't know what it was at the time, but I found out later. And it's getting pretty tight between the first and second place cars. I was sitting in third place and I was just hoping that I could slip down the inside of the two cars and get into first. I managed to get down the inside of the Ford car, but it's not over yet, they're still on the outside going around the corner and we have a good battle.
I managed to get the move made and I was up into second place. Unfortunately, I leave just enough of a gap for the 348 car to get through down the inside. The 688 car passes me as well, which puts me down into fourth place. come past the checkers for the last time today and I got 4th place which isn't too bad considering the weather. So that's me just back in for the final. I think I got a fourth, um, which is pretty decent. The car didn't get hit, but I actually got hit right in the heat, right in the visor right there. When Graham went right around outside of me there, something flicked up off the back of the car and it ended up being like a self tapper bolt. It came and hit me right in the visor. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but um, that was interesting. Wear helmets, so aye. But um, good final, good start to the year. So it's a few days after the racing and the car is um, still as battered as it was. The front legs are pushed right across. But it was a fun meeting, good to get back out for the first time this year, um, and we'll be back out again in March. So thank you very, very much for watching this video. Please like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new or you're watching my videos and you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys in the next week's video. Bye.